Hey, it's Polly and I'm here at the Stanford Home. Today we're going to learn about an innovative design. I'm here with Colin at the Stanford Home. Can you tell me your major and your role in the project? Yep, I'm actually a first year master's student, in, master's student in double E, and I was the controls team lead, and I did a lot of the control systems and electrical work in the house. And can you tell me about the core design of your house? Yeah, so the really the idea around the core is that um, it's very, we think it's kind of sometimes very hard to build efficient systems for homes. It's very hard to be net zero and, and kind of sustainable. but. Uh, what if you could kind of take all those complicated technologies and pack it into a box? What if you could build what we call an engine for your house, just like you have an engine for your for your car? So our core is really this idea where you take all these complicated systems, your mechanical systems, your electrical systems, you pack it into this one pre-manufactured box that you can ship to any site, plop it down, and build any house around it. That's amazing. So your um, core includes like the bathroom, the kitchen, that kind of stuff? Correct. So all the plumbing systems are actually part of the core. So the bathroom, as you said, is part of the core. The face of the kitchen that includes the sink, the dishwasher, the, uh, the fridge are all part of the core. And so people could buy their own core and have it custom fit to what they wanted? Right. So here we have a, a more kind of modern stylized core, but we would imagine that if you had a different style or, you know, different, slightly different size, uh, desire for different kinds of appliances, you could customize your core. But again, it would be pre-manufactured and, and basically have the cost benefits and the efficiency benefits of doing that in the factory. And it also has a special paint, I heard. Is that right? Yeah. So we actually uh, have this uh, special kind of paint. Um, the idea is that it has a chemical agent where uh, when UV rays hit it, it actually converts uh, nitrous oxides into an inert uh, state. So it actually cleans the air um, while it sits here. Uh, and it actually makes it a lot easier to, to wash these uh, panels. That's amazing. And you can just buy this paint, right? Yeah. company called Toto. That's amazing. And so how does the occupants of the house interact with the core and uh, monitor their energy use and such? Yeah, so with this particular house, we really wanted to focus on all the different ways a homeowner would interact with their house. We, we thought um, homes these days are kind of a one-way street, um, where you, as the homeowner, kind of do things to your house, and the house doesn't really have a way of telling you how you're doing. So we really wanted to kind of close that loop and give you feedback. So we have um, a very kind of interesting app that kind of t gives you all the breakdowns of all your energy usage, your water usage, um, and it displays that in a very meaningful fashion. We also have things like these custom room switches that we designed. Um, what these do is they actually, we, we want to give you feedback about the energy uses for your home. So there's actually an ambient light that kind of glows at, at a certain rate. And the faster it glows kind of indicates uh, the more energy you're using in that room. So you, you'll always know at a glance how much, relatively, how much energy you're using. That's amazing. And there's also a piece of art that tells you how much energy you're using. Right, so uh, our Stanford uh, students actually designed a piece of, we call it PV art, um, and it's actually this wonderful, and it looks very cool statically, but what it actually is, it actually represents both your production and your consumption of energy throughout the day, I and mean, it actually moves, and it uh, kind of opens and closes to kind of represent your energy usage. That's amazing. And how did your studies in school influence the design in the house? So I guess personally, I, I studied a lot of uh, computer science and a lot of this kind of these distributed systems kind of things. And that influenced personally a lot of the, the ways the control system was developed and how the underlying uh, system is designed to be modular, just like the core. So uh, we really focused on how to make uh, control systems in a way that you could also just kind of buy them, build them in the factory and just build modular homes out of modular control systems. Yeah, so you're trying to revolutionize the housing industry, kind of. I suppose you can think of it that way. <laughs> okay. Decided to make these clear story windows uh, automated, or not automated, motorized, actuated. Um, but there was always kind of this tension between whether or not we make that part of the automated system where you would um, 
basically have an algorithm to decide when to open and close them versus ha basically inform the user to let them make good decisions about when or not to open and close them. So it was kind of a delicate balance. And the way we kind of see our control system is we see it as a lever, a kind of like a, to give you leverage to do things. So we do want to inform the user to make better decisions, but we don't think they have to manually decide to do it. So basically, we want to think of it, we want to think of heating and cooling as a kind of, you set a point, a comfort, a comf comfort set point that you want, um, and then the algorithm will decide whether or not it's better to use active systems like our mini splits or passive systems by opening windows. So it's kind of the dual, you can decide to open it manually, but we, most of the time you basically decide whether or not um, what comfort you want and we'll kind of, it'll learn from what, what, uh, what you decide. It'll learn from what the user sets, essentially. What careers do you see as possibilities after you've had this experience? Um, there are definitely lots of different uh, career possibilities out of this experience. Um, just the experience you have building a real system, building a, something that really has to work, will apply to almost any job out there. Um, uh, of course, if you really want to just take this system and try to build something out of it, that's also an opportunity, too. Great. Thank you. Thank you. What do you think? <laughs> Charge up! And be part of the solution. Join us for the next episodes of Watch Trekker. Use the link below to sign up for a chance to win prizes and to be notified when our next episode is available online.